Hey cat lovers! It's highly important to be present and help your cat during labor if something goes wrong. For example, an amniotic sac or call might get damaged before a mummy cat is ready to clean a newborn kitty's face and as a result the kitty wouldn't be able to breathe and would suffocate. Besides, the mummy cat might accidentally bite off a newborn's leg or tail. So let's get prepared for helping the mummy cat and her babies during delivery. I'm going to need medical gloves, antiseptic like rubbing alcohol or chlorhexidine for example, cotton pads, thread, scissors and a tiny douche bulb. It's time to take action when you see that the amniotic sac was damaged or the kitty literally fights for some air. Remove fluid from the kitten's face with a cotton pad, then take the aseptized douche bulb and suck out fluid from the kitten's nostrils and mouth. If the kitten started to breathe, you would see a normal chest movement and its nose wouldn't be cyanotic anymore. If the kitten hasn't started to breathe, heart massage should be performed by gently and rhythmically compressing the kitten's chest or rubbing its back. Oxygen should be supplied to lungs as well. A navel cord should be tied with the aseptized thread 2 cm away from the kitten's belly. And then the afterbirth can be cut from the navel cord with the aseptized scissors and treated with a cotton pad dumped in an antiseptic. Finally, the kitty goes to its mommy for grooming and feeding. It's okay and even great if a cat eats afterbirth. Afterbirth has lots of nutrients, but it might lead to diarrhea. If your cat got pregnant because she wasn't neutered, make sure you are responsible enough to take care of her during pregnancy and labor and start looking for good homes for kittens. Hit like and subscribe for more cat tips. Meow.